Wow, just wow. The Last of Us episode five, this show just keeps getting better and better. I'm loving every bit of it. I'm loving really how they're developing these side characters. I mean, Henry and Sam, perfect example for this episode. Yes, in the game, they have a pivotal story there. You interact with them and things happen, things develop, of course. Being that you have this human representation, drawing out their story a little bit, giving us a little bit more backstory on them, kind of developing your attachment more so because, I mean, the whole game, you're with Joel and Ellie, so you fall in love with those characters, right? I love Joel. I mean, everyone loves Joel. And now getting this people representing these characters and then the way they spend just a little bit extra time, well, on Bill and Frank, they spent a whole episode, but they spent like a good portion just delivering and telling, okay, who these characters are why we should care about them, what's going to happen. Although I know what's going to happen because I've played the games, although there's little things that I do forget, but then I'll see it happen on screen and I'm like, oh yeah, that's part of the game. Like I'll have this this moment of realization. Like, oh yeah, I forgot about that in the game. And that's cool that they dropped it or the comic part or just little things that they keep doing. Where I'm like, oh yeah, that's in the game. That's in the game. That being said, the attachment that I, like it sucks because I knew where it was going, where Bill was a surprise. Because I mean, in the game, he don't die. Spoiler warning if you haven't seen this episode of the show yet, ha ha ha, or played the game. I knew where it was going with Henry and Sam. I knew it was going to be tragic. It was going to suck. But then just watching it still hurt. I was still like, damn, poor little Sam. And then Henry's just genuine reaction of living in this world was to just shoot because that's a monster because he knows that's how you react. If you don't react, you don't survive. You die. And then you see him start to like have this realization and he's like, oh, sh like, what did I do? What did I do? What? Like he starts having this crazy, oh my God. And he just looks at Joel and I was like, man, I know where this is going. And he just puts a gun to his head and. It was tragic. It was beautifully tragic. Beautiful in the sense that, but I still had this moment of like, oh, like I still had this, this glimpse or this pull towards hope. I was like, please let it be different. Please let it be different. But of course, it's not. And one of the things I love about this show in general is that they hit beats. I've said it before. There's moments, like I said, that I'll see it and then it makes me remember. Oh yeah, that's in the game. I totally forgot about that moment. We get the name Clicker. Clicker and you survive? We get a bloater. And they didn't call it a bloater, but it's a bloater. Big old behemoth of a monster. And the way they sold it with the horde. And this episode, again, is amazing. I'm excited to see how they keep pushing forward. I feel feel like season one might be drawn out and it won't be the entire first game. I think we're going to get left close to the end, maybe like arriving to the hospital and season two's beginning is going to kind of like in the game is going to be the full explanation of the end of the first game and delving into the second game, which I don't even want to see because don't Pedro Pascal as Joel, the level of fuck in his face when he has to like agree and work with Henry and Sam is hilarious it's just that's some joel shit right there bro he just like had his face he's just mm, what's the plan bro like it was great bella ramsey is killing it i'm loving the way she's bringing ellie to life again all the little things and nods to characters to the accuracies of the game to just developing the story this is a huge like oh shit this is doable like making a video game into a movie or into a show is mad doable if it's done right, obviously. However, I think the reason this one is done right is the fact that they're hitting beats that are imp even, they're minor moments in the game, but they're memorable moments in those games. As simple as, I need help, you know, or the way they develop Bill's story, the way they de like developed and gave us more of Henry and Sam, like little things that they're adding onto it is allowing them to elongate and expand on the universe and the characters while still giving us what we want, while still giving us the combination of Joe and Ellie becoming that father daughter duo, which they like hate each other, but they love each other, having a certain level of respect for each other, understanding each other's situations and why they are, how they are, who they are and why they are that way. Seeing the world being built, having this extra attachment to characters that were almost not necessarily throwaways, but just in passing. You had a side mission to move forward. The way we're developing Joel or Ellie, how you know how we got to the point where she gets her gun, how Joel got to the point where he now he has his rifle. Little things like that are just beautiful. So although yes, we're not playing anymore, they're still presenting it in the sense of leveling up, in the sense of these characters still adapting on screen, and we're getting to we're going to see them become the full Joel and Ellie, the full characters from The Last of Us. So. I definitely love it. This means that the others can be done greatly, but also like not to jump on it, but I heard, apparently they're doing God of War on Amazon and already from what I read is they're skipping straight to the Norse mythology, which is the most, most recent and it's already stupid trash. It pisses me off. How dare you skip the original trilogy? That story is crazy. And I have a whole conversation on that to be had, but Gears of War, like certain games that have these in-depth characters pre-existing these stories like gears i love gears but gears of war the, the way you could develop that world god of war 2 the way you can develop it and bring it forward oh if they can do this i know they can do that but 
I want to hear your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, how you feel about the show so far. How are you loving it? Dude, I love the design of the of the infected and the bloater looked cool and he was scary as hell. And I was like, oh man, y'all not gonna win that fight, boys. But again, hear your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, requests. Are you enjoying the show so far? I am. I'm loving it. I gotta be honest. Until next time, stay safe, be well. Y con mucho amor. Adios.